Welcome, ladies, and thank you for inviting me to speak. I am truly grateful to be here. I have been through the adventure of a lifetime this summer, and I did not travel anywhere. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dita Fada. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 25 years ago, and I have just recently embraced this walker as my friend. So I had put something out online saying, please help me name this walker, and her name is Diva. So, and she is a diva. There are times when she wants to work, times when she doesn't want to work. So just like everybody else, you know, it's, she's got an attitude, she's got a personality. Um, I have embraced MS as motivational spitfire and modified swagger. And I have embraced myself as a work in progress. So I used to be an overachieving, stressed out perfectionist, no more. So if you guys look at the sheets that I gave you, are you ready to bridge the gap? It's from perfectionist work in progress, which I've done, self-doubt confidence, which I've done, fear to courage, which I'm still working on, but I'm getting there, surviving to thriving, it's happening, self-sabotage to self-care is a constant work in progress, and exclusives to acceptance. So because I was the most controlling, most overachieving, stressed out perfectionist around, and I had found my way to the other side, I have found the power of perspective. It is, there's been a huge shift, huge shift in me. And I said, gosh, if this can happen to me, this can happen for anyone, <clears throat> any one of us. We're all so busy, day to day. We're just going, 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 doing, doing, doing. And it's like we're hamsters on a wheel with blinders on with our cell phone in front of us. And we're too busy to take a step back, to take a breath to connect to ourselves, to connect to our thoughts. And a lot of times, our thoughts are out of control. I mean, I don't know if you feel the same way as me, but there's a lot of times when my thoughts are like, even tonight, well, not so much tonight, because I've learned. But before I give a speech, oh my god, they're not going to like me. Oh, what am I going to say? How is this going to come out? I'm going to be nervous. They're going to see that I'm shaking. I've got this chair. What the heck am I going to do? That's a story I tell myself. It's not a story anybody else mentions. It's something going on in my own head. So we need to realize when we're talking to ourselves, what we're saying to ourselves. What I've noticed over this summer is that <coughs> I've had to shift what I'm saying to myself from, ah, oh, my legs aren't working, this sucks, yeah, I'm at, rah, rah, rah. and like, oh, I'm stressed out, I'm overwhelmed, and oh my God, stop. Because when you put that stuff out there, it comes back to you. It comes back to you, and not in a good way. If you put negative out there, whether it be to other people or yourself, it's going to come back to you because it believes whatever you're saying. Energy. Your mind, your body, your soul feels your energy. So if you're nervous, if you're overwhelmed, if you're freaking out, you're, everything's going to respond that way. So you have to learn to bring it in. Um, and you have to be quiet. You have to learn to be review yourself in you, which is really hard for us to do. Um, because we're always giving to other people. We're always giving. But if you want balance, if you want connection, you can't always exhale. You know, it's like Andrea said, you gotta breathe in and breathe out. So what we do on a daily basis is exhale, exhale, exhale. You can't exhale all the time. You just can't. It's not possible. You need to have the inhale. You need to fill yourself. You need to give yourself what you need so that you can share your excess with other people. What happens to us as human beings is that we get so human, we give and give and give. Let me give an example. What is the golden rule? Anybody? Treat others as you would like to be treated. Yes. But where in there anywhere does it say treat yourself? And the word selfish has a negative connotation to it. And we're all like, oh, selfish? You can't be selfish, that's arrogant. That's, that's doing everything for me. And no, I can't, I have to give. Yeah, you have to give, but you have to receive too. And you know, that means receiving compliments from other people. Say thank you, don't make excuses, don't come up with stuff, you know, just say thank you, take it in. Build yourself up. That means taking a breath and connecting. That means when you're overwhelmed, whatever you're doing, stop. No 
not sure you're gonna know what brain surgery. Stop, back up, take a breath, and connect to yourself. Your heart, you guys all have a purpose. We're all special. If you actually put your hands on your heart and you close your eyes, and you take a deep breath in, and out, and open your eyes, you're like, oh wow. You literally, you just, it's like, what just happened? But if you seriously focus on it, if you seriously go inside and say, okay, I'm worthy. You know what, I need this, I'm special. I need to fill myself up before I give to other people. And you guys, I know, you may not have recognized what you were feeling or why you were feeling it, but when we give so much and other people aren't grateful for us giving and they're not thankful, you know, for us giving and giving, we get pissed off. We're like, ah, oh, give it, give it, give it, I'm not getting anything you're doing, what's going on? Not even, thank you. It, it's terrible, but it's, it's inside of us. We have to come to terms with that inside of us. Because when you give, you're not supposed to want anything in return. You're giving out of the kindness of your heart. But if you don't have anything to give, any surplus to give, it's painful. And that's when you get sick. And that's when terrible things happen. And then you go, oh, why me? Why you? Take a breath. <laughs> Take a break. You know, back up. Don't get so overwhelmed. And it's hard. I'm not, you know, it's not easy. The power of perspective is all about a mind shift. And the mind shift takes baby steps. And baby steps are hard when you're used to wanting to do everything by yourself all the time. And what I mean by that is, how many of you say, religiously, I got this? Right? <laughs> I got this. But sometimes, I got this becomes, oh, I got this, get out of my way. <laughs> Am I wrong? Can you guys relate to that? Does that resonate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, when I say I got this now, it's not rah, 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 rah. It's I got this. You know, and if I don't got this, I find somebody to help me. And the thing that has helped me the most in the whole wide world, and I never ever thought I would come to this, is uh, something, something that I realized from a lady who taught Reiki. She said, D, she gave me a book, and she's like, you are supposed to be the poster child for curing MS. Like, what? She goes, you're not gonna need your walker anymore. And then I'm like, well, who am I gonna be then? She's like, no, you're not listening. She goes, you are to be the poster child for curing MS, but it's your choice. It's what you wanna do with this. And I said, okay. And she told me to buy these two books, and she said, keep reading them. You can cure yourself with energy, and I said, okay. And I called her after reading this book every day religiously, and I said, I feel nothing. I said, I actually feel worse now than I did before. And she said, you need to give up control. <coughs> I said, what do you mean give up control? She goes, there's something you're holding on to. You need to give up control. And I wrestled with that for a while. And she was like, just say, I give up control, and I ask for guidance. And I wrestled with that. I said, I hate those words, give up. I can't. Give up is not in my vocabulary. I will not give up. So I walked by somebody's office and she had a cat calendar. And this cat was the cutest thing in the world. It had its eyes closed and his paws up in the air. And I said, oh my God, that's it. I surrender. Power of perspective. Not give up. I surrender. I surrender and ask for guidance. Those are the best words I've ever said in my entire life. The first time I said that and I asked for what I was looking for, it came to me. I said, whoa. I did it again. I asked for help organizing my thoughts. And this lady whom I'd known forever was offering a free course on how to organize your thoughts. I said, what? <laughs> it's unbelievable. When you get out of your own awful, like just god awful telephone garbage stories in your head, where you're telling, you're making stuff up. I mean, and a lot of this stuff is based on beliefs that you've inherited from your caregivers, from your schools, from, think about it guys. I mean, penmanship and holding a pen a certain way and making sure all the dishes are clean before you go to bed at night and the way you clean a toilet. I mean, that's simple stuff, okay? It's crazy. And for me, it was the golden rule. And I'm like, but what about me? And it was coming to terms with being selfish. 
which means so much more to me now than being arrogant and you know demanding things from people no that means self-care that means self-respect that means self-love i have to take care of me so that i have something left to give to other people we all have to do that it's not all about me it's about everybody and i've been working with the people in my office which is crazy because for the longest time they drove me nuts and when I shifted my perspective and said, maybe this is my issue, <laughs> not theirs. <laughs> and uh, I really got to know them and asked them, said, what is it that you want? You know, I know that you're working here now and I know that you're frustrated, but what is it that you want? You know, open your mind, open your soul, open everything. Just think about it. You know, what do you want to do? Where do you want to be? Because the universe is there for us. They want us to be bigger and larger than life. We just can't see that because we're human and we're in control, you know? And it's like, no, we're gonna do it this way. Well, how many times have you said, I'm gonna do it this way, and it didn't happen that way? And it's like, okay, there's another way. So mm -hmm. it's easier for me now to come to terms with that because I realized there's another way. Like I wrote this whole speech and it disappeared. And I go, okay, I'm guessing that wasn't what I was supposed to say. I surrender, I ask for help, you know? It's just, it's easier when you come to terms with that. It's easier when you see a perspective from a different view. I mean, even as simple as this sign tonight, you know, we couldn't find a way to hang it because it wasn't the normal way. It didn't have the normal everything. I said, just hang it over, we'll see what happens. And it stayed, Woo! You know, I mean, it's the simple things, but it's all baby stuff. By taking little baby steps and realizing that just doing these little shifts in your mind and <coughs> mindset can bring about some pretty big shifts. And when those big shifts happen, everything looks different. You know, I looked at impatience the other day, and I don't know if you guys know what impatience are, the flowers, but my friend was next to me. I go, What do you see? She goes, Impatience. I go, What else do you see? She goes, Beautiful colors. I go, What else do you see? And she goes, I see dew on the flowers. And I, I go, she goes, well, what are you talking about? I said, look at the leaves. They're like shaped like hearts. She went, oh my God. I never would have noticed that, you guys, not even six months ago. I just would have walked right past them. But when you step back, when you step back, when you go inside, when you really go inside and spend some time with yourself and you, and you lower your guard and you surrender and ask for help, and you're not the control freak, and you back up when you get overwhelmed, and I'm telling you, it will change your life. There will be this big shift that will blow your mind, and you'll look back and go, wow, wow, I changed a lot. This has happened to me over the summer. This is not like years and years and years and years and years and years and years. This is just being aware and knowing about the power of perspective. I love you guys. You all have it in you, you know, and it's, it, you kind of go from home the holy shit. It's awesome. <laughs> I like it's awesome. Yep. Thank you, Jean. You're welcome. So the other thing that I brought for you ladies, besides are you ready to bridge the gap from, with it's all about power and perspective, and my information, if you would like to contact me, I am doing complimentary coaching calls. So because I know it's really, really, really hard to get out of your own way and to figure out how to make the shift possible without help. So I am here to help. So I also wanted you guys to have my inspiration sheet. So you've got this. I came up with this one day and I said, oh my God, I love this. Everybody needs this in their life. Post it somewhere you can look at it every day so that you can feel better about yourself and remember these things. Because it's one thing to hear it in a speech, it's another thing to practice it every day. So by all means, you know, the only way you're going to get to that shift is if you practice. And it's baby steps. It is baby steps. But yep, celebrate you. Set yourself free. No regrets. You are loved. You are special. Let your spirit shine. Be mindful. Be kind. Be positive. Believe in you. Be courageous. Be grateful. You are one of a kind. Every baby step is a positive step forward. Smile, whether it's upside down or right side up. <laughs> Keep things in perspective. You've got this.
Questions for D. Oh, it did so good. No questions. I love it. You guys are all shifted now, right? <laughs> completely, completely shifted. I actually have this in my bathroom mirror, so oh. I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I just remind myself. It really does help. I'm telling you, the way we go through life, we give so much to other people, and we're expected to give to other people. I mean, that's how I grew up. You know, give, 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 give. But when did you give to yourself? Mm -hmm. So, and people look at that and they go, what? I can't do that. It's not about me. No, it's not about me. Yeah, it is kind of about you. You got to take care of you first. And they're like, ah, I'm like, no, 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 no. Let me help you. Let me help you. So I know it can seem daunting. I know it can seem like, oh my God, I can never do this. But you can. You can. Because everything that you learned before, all the beliefs, all the self-doubts, all the fears that you have from before, think about it, they're probably not even yours, okay? The way you grew up, the things that you inherited from your parents, from your teachers, from your friends, it's crazy. So when you actually go back and you think about some of that stuff, you're like, what, I'm holding on to that because why? It's crazy. It can be so freeing. And I just found that recently, and I'm like, wow, if I can do this, the most stubborn person in the world, everybody else can <laughs> too. So, yes, I am teaching. You have such a wonderful message. How are you going to share that with the world? I am starting with complimentary coaching sessions. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I am going to work on an online course. I am actually in the process of working on an online course. I am doing motivational speaking. So if you know of anyone who is a speaker, I am available. Um, and I'm working on a book. Hmm. Great. So, wow. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things in the works right now, which is a lot of fun. Exciting. But, um, yep, first and foremost, I'm starting out as a coach and complimentary coaching sessions just to see where you're coming from and if I can help. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you.